how guys responded to their first practice after spring break? Well, I think they came in ready to go. I think they were excited to get back on the football field. You know, it was, it was nice, um, nice to have some practices under your belt. Uh, before you came back after spring and you know it gave us a chance to kind of evaluate and see where everybody was and and regroup and I think it gave the guys a chance to regroup and, and get their minds settled down and and I thought they came back and competed hard and, and competed well today. How much easier is it this spring having uh, two guys in your system that have been in the system now for a year and they're in their second year? Well it's obviously easier just for communication purposes you know the um, the hardest thing is to learn the language and, and get everybody on the same page so everybody is speaking the same language um, and we don't have that hurdle to overcome. Uh, surely there's new things we're doing and some new concepts we're working on that everybody has to learn and get together on. But, uh, you know, as far as working with the two quarterbacks and everybody speaking the same language, um, it, it's, a, it's a pleasure working with both guys. What's impressed you so far about uh, Jake Heaps? Uh, Jake is uh, he's a competitive guy who... Um, you know, he really holds himself to a high standard. Uh, you know, Jake, Jake hates to make mistakes. He hates to do things wrong. Um, and, and, and that's great because, you know, so many times you're pushing guys to raise their expectations for themselves, and you really don't have to do that with Jake. Um, and that's kind of the mental side of things. Physically, uh, you know, Jake has a lot of skills that, that, that a drop-back quarterback, a passing quarterback needs. And, um, you know, he's, he's shown to, to have a real high efficiency level in his ability to throw the football um, and, and do it at a high level. What's impressed you about Michael so far? Um, Mike has been a, a, a competitor now. You know, Mike, Mike stepped in, um, you know, last year and, 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 you know, as we did different things to try to gain some footing and, and, and get some first downs, um, you know, Mike handled what we were doing. Um, and he's had to broaden his mind a little bit as we've broadened what we're asking him to do this spring with a little more preparation time and things like that. And, and he's done a fine job with it. You know, he's competed well. Um, he doesn't have the same uh, level of experience that Jake does, but he has competed really well, and, and, and I appreciate Mike's effort and his level of competition. As a former quarterback, and then obviously as a quarterback coach now, who are some of the quarterbacks around not only the NFL but college football, past and present, that you've enjoyed watching? Well... As a former quarterback, I, I, I grew up watching Dan Marino. I was a big Dan Marino fan, you know, being from Pennsylvania. And uh, um, so I, I really enjoyed watching Dan Marino and the way he operated. And, um, and, and he's a guy that was a standard, I think, um, for when I was growing up. Nowadays, you know, things are different. And the nice thing is that there's guys that, are, that play at a, a tremendously high level. Um, you know, we, we certainly have an, an affinity for the, the New England Patriots. And Tom Brady, uh, he does it as well as anybody ever has. And, you know, the, the, the way he competes and, and the way he operates um, in, in the same offense we're running, um, it makes it a guy that we like to watch. And, and I certainly enjoy watching Tom Brady and watch him operate. Um, but he's not alone. I mean, guys like Drew Brees and Aaron Rodgers and Peyton Manning, I mean, there's a lot of quality quarterbacks out there right now that um, you can always watch a little bit and, and gain something from. But I think we all have a, um, you know, we all like watching Tom Brady do, the, do, do what he does in the same offense we're running.